Hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing a chatty get ready with me and we're gonna be doing this look. And today is kind of like a trial and error kind of day. It was uh, kind of a funny day, just maneuvering between getting the batteries charged, memories ins inserted, and balancing between getting makeup on, talking and chatting. And yeah, it was kind of a really cool, interesting day. Now I'm gonna get started and let's show you guys how to get this look. And it's funny because today I didn't even use foundation. I used powder because I literally just forgot to put on a foundation. It was just that kind of a funny day. And now I'm so hungry, I'm gonna go have some lunch. So stay tuned guys and you'll see how this look is done. I'm just gonna put on a pink lip, lippy. And I'm starting my makeup. I like to get some color on my lips just so that I feel more alive. And I always have a BB wipe on handy. Mostly I use it to take off makeup on my hands. I've had a lot of times where I have makeup on my hands and then it'll end up smearing on my face. And I'm still trying to get used to doing my makeup and talking. I'm so used to doing my makeup by myself and thinking and using it as a, as a time to reflect, have some quiet time. So this will be a bit of a change. It'll be reflecting out loud. So dreams, aspirations, careers, obligations. What about all of that? Well, let me tell you, it is very hard to decide, not decide, I think you've decided in your head, but to actually have the courage, muster up the courage to chase after your dreams, chase after what it is you wanna do, chase after what you feel in your heart you were meant to do, but maybe your parents, maybe your family, friends, maybe just a society in general tells you that you should do something conventional, do something safe, and we're programmed to be doing safe things. We're programmed to not put ourselves in harm's way. It's the way, it's just our nature to protect ourselves. And I think a lot of times when you take the safe route, it's good. There's nothing wrong with the safe route, but a lot of times that's maybe not what we feel like we really wanna do. I think right now I'm in a place where I don't wanna take the safe route anymore. I wanna experiment, I wanna try new things, I wanna just live life a little bit on the edge right now because I have no kids yet. I am in a, actually, not even about having kids. I think if, even if I had kids, I could still want to chase after my dreams, but I just, I'm just so tired of being unhappy, not being completely fulfilled. That's kind of where I am right now. I'm just in a, I don't really care place. I don't really care what society tells me. I don't really care what anybody else tells me because I've just been doing what I was supposed to be doing for just too long and I think it's time that I use the rest of this time for me and to live authentically to what to how I want to live how I want to spend my life how I want to explore my strengths explore the gifts that God gave me we should all live like that we should all live exploring the gifts that we have things that we know in our hearts we're good at. Oops, powder. I'm just gonna set the concealer that I put on my face. I have dry skin. And I have to remember what I was talking about because <laughs> I'll end up forgetting what I was talking about. It wasn't until maybe two, three years ago when I started Canoe Productions that I stopped experimenting with makeup. So we were always in black and I always had my makeup in a neutral, bronzy sometimes, smoked out, but but you don't want to overshadow the bridesmaids or the brides or any of the guests there. You just want to be in the shadows, uh, fly against the wall. And so my makeup was just always very natural, very normal, boring and put together. I was in a black outfit, just you know, professional looking. I hated that. I, I actually hated that. Okay, hang on. Let's see, what else can we do with this? I put powder on my face. Let's do, oh, 
why did I put powder on my face? I'm supposed to do foundation and then powder. Um, okay, we're gonna roll with it. Let's roll with it. I'm gonna put on some Max Studio Fix. This is kind of like a, a powder foundation, so this, this will be really good. Yeah, let's go for a light look today. Let's do a romantic light look today. So this is the Kat Von D palette. I'm trying to do my makeup and I'm trying to talk at the same time and it may or may not work, but we'll see. <laughs> my friend and I decided that we're gonna look for dancing places. And I am really serious about that. I'm gonna start looking for a place for me to go and dance, loosen up, have fun, exercise, be fit, be happy. There's nothing more enjoyable than to not take life so seriously. I think sometimes we, all of us, myself included, I tend to take life a little bit too seriously. Anyway, I did my contour-ish. I did my contour-ish. I didn't even do the bottom parts down here. I'm just so distracted talking about life, talking about things that I enjoy, and I am not doing the makeup efficiently. Hopefully I get better at this. <laughs> so my veins are coming out from my eyes. I've got very thin skin on my eyes and I should be using either concealer or eyeshadow primer but you know what today it's about just forgetting my steps. So <laughs> let's just keep forgetting our steps. Okay let's see. Hmm. How many of you are just so scared to take your next step? Because I know I am. I'm fearful because I'm fearful of wasting time. I'm scared of not being able to make money from making videos. I made money from being a wedding videographer and that was amazing, but now I wanna create things that I'm creatively triggered and excited to create. I want to explore fashion, I want to explore makeup, I want to explore more of my creativity and I'm scared that won't make me money. Or rather maybe I'm scared of other people's judgment and I think all of us are scared of that. We're scared of people telling us you won't make it or saying oh you're not even good at what you're doing or why are you doing that or you're stupid or you know just a lot of mean comments and that's where you just have to learn to not think about what other people say. You have to learn to just have thick skin, learn to be true to yourself, learn to be happy with your own decisions, be confident in yourself. And I think now being 28, I've gone to a point in my life where I'm very confident, very happy. I have everything I need. So that makes me very fulfilled and happy. And now that I'm doing what I love, I'm doing things that I enjoy, that even more propels me to continue, still just live such a fulfilled and happy life. Sorry, it's really hot right now because I don't know why the AC is on, but I'm, we're on the top floor, so it's very, very, and there's a lot of windows, so it's like really hot right now, and the AC is not blowing for some reason. So I'm talking and not really, really able to get out my thoughts because it's just so hot um yes see my hair is starting to stick to my neck because it's so hot <sighs> yeah so now i'm in a really good place in my life where i've exhausted doing what other people told me i should be doing mostly what i felt like i was supposed to be doing to, to be a contributing uh, member of society which is to you know make money and pay your bills and do work and come home and then have kids, get married, have kids and boop, 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 like live your life and die. Sorry, I'm very bitter as you can tell, not bitter, but just, I'm just so done with that kind of lifestyle. I'm so happy right now to be free, to have the opportunity to just to be creatively juicing. Sorry, that sounds really weird, but to just, to, to just be creatively you know, I'm just glowing. I'm just so happy. I'm just like, ah, shining in my rainbow of happiness. Just like, just been 
inside. And now I'm ready to just, you know, be creatively explosive and happy and contributing that too. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm using a pink shade to go over my lid. So if you're in a similar situation as I am, my suggestion would be either just do it, just do it, whatever it is you have in your heart right now. You know you want to do it. Let's say you do your research, understand what it is you want to get into. Don't just go out there and start going crazy. But do your research, actually understand the industry that you want to get into, and then figure out a time and a place in your life to start. So it would be like, you know, I'm going to do my research and then a month from now I'm going to implement my plan or I'm going to reach out to all these people who've done it before and I'm going to talk to them about how to get in it or I'm going to intern first to get my foot in the door to actually experience um, a little bit of it before I do it. So actually have a plan in place and, and be smart with it. For example, doing YouTube. I thought about doing YouTube eight years ago. I thought about doing YouTube when I was first in college and I didn't start because I wasn't confident and wasn't sure that it was exactly what it is I wanted to do. It wasn't that I wanted to do it and I just didn't go for it. But I wanted to do it, but I wasn't sure I wanted to do it. So it didn't, that passion wasn't strong enough for me to act on it until now. It wasn't until eight years later that I felt like I was just, it's like a bottle, just kept filling up, filling up. And now I was like ready to explode and my passion was just so strong to be doing this that now I'm doing it. And I think motivation comes from inside. It, you can be motivated by other things, but you're never gonna be motivated enough to do it unless it comes from inside, from where it will never run out. Now I'm finally in a place where I'm so motivated and I'm so excited and passionate about what I want to do that I felt like I was ready to pursue it. We always think that when we jump into doing something that we love, it's going to be completely enjoyable, but that's not the that's not true. There's always going to be aspects of everything that you don't enjoy. You're never going to completely be doing everything that you love. You're never going to completely take hard work away. You're never going to completely enjoy 100% of everything that you do. So now you just have to pick what is it that you don't enjoy doing that you'd be okay doing because the, the doing what you love outweighs that negativity. You see, setting up for weddings is hard. But setting up for YouTube is way harder because I am behind the camera when I'm setting up for a wedding. I, I know exactly where I want to set the camera and the settings and I just tell people what to do. But now I am the subject and I have to be the camera person and I have to set everything up and I have to do my makeup and I have to, you know, so it's, it's, it's harder. But like I said, even though that's a crappier part of the job, I really enjoy doing the sitting and the makeup part, so it all evens out. Hopefully, yes. <sighs> okay, I had to, something died, so I had to figure it out, and now I'm frazzled. But let's do our eyebrows. Oh, my eyebrows. Eyebrows are in my bag over yonder, and I just finished setting up, and now I have to, I will be back. Maybe uh, get some water. Let's skip talking about the whole life goals and let's just focus on the makeup because I can't do both. I'm really bad at doing both and I think we ended on a pretty good note. It's just like have the courage to do what you love and expense all, uh, all not wanting to do it until the jar's filled up and then you just want to do it so bad you end up doing it and that will be the motivation inside for you to keep doing it. All right, let's do your eyebrows. this and this one's 
awesome. Like I said, this one reminds me of NARS Orgasm, the blush. It's got a bit of shimmer inside. I love this one, but I need something just a little bit more coral. I don't know why I don't have a highlighter. That should be on my to buy list ASAP. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use this shade right here from Jaclyn Hills palette. And I think she said this was good as a highlighter as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. This is such a challenge. I have so much respect now for YouTubers and I hope you guys will as well because this is a lot of work. Especially if you're a one woman team, it is a lot of work. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and I will see you guys.